Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining my channel again. Today I want to do a repot of this philodendron gold DI. I think that the, ch the name changed for this plant, so I'm not too sure of the new name change, but look at it, isn't it so pretty? See how like they kind of grow in like a circle? It's like a circle. I love it. So this is a new plant. I just picked this up uh, this weekend from Kim's Nature. And it looks healthy, it looks happy. And philodendrons seem to really love LECA. So I'm gonna make the switch. So I'm probably gonna make a huge mess in my basement. First of all, I'm in my pajamas. Like, it's COVID. Nobody's going anywhere, so I mean, I'm home all day. I've got two, ch three children. Anyways, so I've got this big bag of mecca that my husband picked up for me. He actually picked me up two of these big bags from a local hydroponics store. But the thing is, is I don't like the size of these balls. They're way too big. They're huge. They're like, I don't know if you can see the size, but they're pretty big. So what I did was I purchased these from Amazon. They're just hydro balls. I think these are normally, yeah, these are normally used in like terrariums for lizards and stuff. So I just, these are really tiny. I'm gonna open it and show you how tiny these are really really tiny so there's a comparison so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually just gonna mix them together in this and this this trick i actually where's the lid for this oh god did i lose the lid oh there it is okay so this trick i actually saw in one of the leka groups and she rinses her leka in one of these jugs and then when you put the lid on this, this jug you can just get from the dollar store. When you put the lid on, you can move it to, uh, there it is, like the lines there. And then so when you're pouring the water out, like from rinsing these, when you pour the water out, the leka won't be able to come through those little tiny holes. So it's really easy to just pour a bunch of water in there and you can dump it outside or if you're bad like me and you dump it down your drains, which you shouldn't, but you do. So I'm going to mix the two sizes in here and hopefully um, that will be okay. What I'm thinking too is I'm actually just going to use like the big balls on the bottom of, because I'm just going to repot it right back into this container. It has drainage holes in the bottom there. So I'll just sit this inside of another container with water not this but in another container with water you get what i'm saying here so I'm just gonna put the bigger balls right at the bottom of it and then um the big and the little balls i'm gonna put together throughout it see how that does because i don't like these bigger balls oh my god look at this one this one's huge like that one's huge. That's like the size of my palm. There's some really big balls in here. So now I'm just pouring in the small balls. For now, that should be okay. I don't know. I feel like that didn't really make a difference. But if you look at it from the side, you can see that like it actually filled it in. It filled in like all the gaps. Like I'm sure there's still some gaps, but it basically filled in all the gaps. And that's what I wanted. Cause you don't really want gaps in your LECA. You don't want like big gaps. Like gaps are good, but like big gaps, I feel like are not good. Uh, now I'm gonna go wash my LECA and then I'll be back with the repotting. All right, so I'm back now. Uh, for some of you that are new, you might be wondering why you rinse your LECA, and that's only because it's got like a dust on it, like a dirt. When I first started out, I actually was not rinsing my LECA at all. I had no idea that you had to. Um, so it doesn't kill your plants. The dirt that's in it, you can see it on the top of this lid here. Um, 
it's not dirt it's just the dust from the, the clay uh and you want to dump it outside because the clay could clog your drains but i mean i don't know if anybody's actually ever clogged their drains from rinsing in their house so i do it i do it and you're not supposed to so now I'm just going to take these stakes out. I'm going to take the dirt off of the roots. I'm going to rinse the roots and then we're going to pop this up together. Um, so I've had some people asking me what kind of pots are best to plant your plants in with Leka. And honestly, I have a box here in case you're wondering, I'm putting the dirt in there. Um, Honestly, it doesn't matter. As long as the plant can fit inside of the container, it doesn't really matter what kind of pot you're potting it into. Oh, this is kind of hard to get out. So let me just move this down so you can see what I'm doing. Um, like for instance, I'm taking this out, but I'm just gonna, what are those? They're, they, I thought they were Cheerios. Are they like Lekka? Is this like a different kind of Lekka? Anybody know? Have you ever seen anything like that? They're like clay. And there's a bunch of them in here. You see them all at the bottom? Anyways, what I was saying is it doesn't matter what kind of pot. Oh no, there's moss in here. I hate moss. It's so hard to get off the roots. Okay, let me just, I'm just gonna dive right in there. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of pot that you're using for your Leka, as long as your plant fits inside of it. Um, I have pots without holes in them. I have glass, glass containers without holes in them. I have glass containers with holes in them. Sometimes I put them right back in the nursery pot because I like how the nursery pots have the little holes at the bottom already. So you can just sit that in some water. The Leka will wick it up. Um, I haven't had a problem with any container. I think it's honestly just preference, whatever you prefer. This stuff stinks. It kind of smells like a Christmas tree. Like it's not a bad smell, but anyways, you want to um, pot it in whatever your plant will fit in. So it really doesn't matter. Everybody uses something different and I use different things all the time. I never stick to just one kind of pot or, you know, I did make a video on how you can make your own pots. Uh, I can put the link in the description down below if you want to watch that um i basically just use like like i guess it would be called like a solo cup um just like the clear clear plastic cup something like you would get at starbucks and then i have this little tool that heats up that you can um put holes inside of the pot i hope you can see what i'm doing here because I'm basically just repotting with you while chatting, talking about some things that people have been asking, some questions that I see a lot. Um, and if this is your first time here, your first time watching, uh, and, and you have Facebook, you can join my group on Facebook. It's called Lazy Lekka Crew. And it's actually growing quite fast, that group. I honestly, when I made that group, I thought that maybe it would be like me and maybe a hundred other people. Because you know what? When it comes to Lekka, I'm quite lazy with it. I'm not doing all of the things that some people do. You know, I'm not testing the pH for my water. Um, there's a lot of things I don't do. I basically just use Lekka as 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 a substrate i just use it like you would if it was soil you know i just take the soil off of my plants because i hate soil i hate soil 
with a passion. There's one time that I was repotting a plant that I had in soil and this is before I got like, you know, all into the LECA stuff. And I thought, why isn't my plant growing? It was a philodendron, Prince of Orange. And I thought, why isn't my plant growing? So I took it out of the soil. I was gonna just put it in new soil. And there was earwigs earwigs all inside of the soil i don't even know how that happened that's disgusting because as you can see i'm pretty like hands-on when i'm repotting i just put my hands right in there and just you know go at it the roots look really cool on this by the way it kind of has like tree tree trunk roots it's really neat I don't know if I should put this aerial root in when I'm repotting it, if I should keep the aerial root out or if I should put it in. I'm thinking that I'll put it in because it's because I don't really know why, <laughs> but I just feel like maybe that's what I'll do. If you've ever repotted a Monstera before, you'll know that you can actually um, put their aerial roots in, repot them in with the rest of the plant. So I think that's what I'm gonna do because it is a philodendron. So I'm pretty sure like these were aerial roots. These look like they were aerial roots and see how they kind of, they grow roots off of the aerial root. So I think that if I plant this in there that it will grow some roots off of it. So I think I'm gonna do that. When I'm done getting all the soil off of this, I'm not gonna take you with me to the sink to go rinse off the rest of the dirt. Um, I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll come back after that for the repotting. And I hope that it will fit back inside of this container like it totally should. But I'm kind of thinking maybe I should move up. Should I move up? I think philodendrons like to be root bound. So I'm gonna keep it in there, at least until like the spring, summer, then I might, might go up. I can see some new growth coming in there. That's cute. I've, I've seen, and I've done a little bit of research on this plant, the philodendron goldie eye. Is, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. That's how I pronounce it. And um, I saw that they can get really quite large. So I'm really hoping that as it grows, that my house will be able to house it. <laughs> that my home will be able to house it. Because I don't have like really tall roofs, you know, just like regular roofs in this house. The thing with soil is that I tend to kill my plants that are in soil. And I think that's because I'm an overwaterer or an underwaterer. With LECA, it's very easy to see. So I pulled off, actually, I pulled off a lot of the soil roots too. Um, I'm being pretty rough with it because it's gonna grow water roots. So it's gonna grow some water roots. Look how clean that is. Look at that, I did such a good job. And then we've got all the, as you can see, there's some roots and stuff in there, but it'll be fine. It'll be good, philodendrons love Lekka, so I'm not even worried. So I'll show you the plant one more time. And now I'm gonna go rinse these roots off. And I'm also gonna grab my Super Thrive. And then we're gonna pop this up together. I'll be back. Okay, so we're back here and I've washed the roots and I got my uh, Super Thrive and water mixture inside of a popcorn container. And when I'm done repotting this in here with the Lekka, I'm just gonna put it into this glass bowl. I couldn't find anything else, so I didn't know. You know what, I'll just, I'll find something another day, but I feel like it fits in there just fine for now doesn't need to be perfect so like I said before I'm gonna try to put more of like the bigger balls on the bottom so I'm gonna just try and scoop up the bigger balls I got a piece of hair on my hand 
So I'm just gonna put the bigger balls here at the bottom. That way too, they won't fall through the little holes. Cause I find like those really small ones will just go straight through those holes that are at the bottom. So you wanna make sure that you put like an inch or so of LECA at the bottom. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. You see what I'm doing here. So I'm just scooping my leg up with my hand, the big balls, and putting them in at the bottom. Look how big this one is. Oh my god, that's like an inch. That's huge. What are these big Lekka balls used for? Like, I don't even know. Do you use the big Lekka balls or do you use the smaller Lekka balls or do you use, like normally I use something that's like in between, but I guess my husband couldn't find it for me. They're pretty much sold out like everywhere. So, um, so yeah, I'm stuck with what I have right now. Ooh, that's cutting it close. to think here I feel like it could use like a deeper container this container I feel like that would be perfect look at that we'd have so much more room for the roots to grow hmm. then I'd have to burn holes in the bottom of this I don't want to use that don't want to use that I want to use this one so I'm just gonna have to make it work. Gonna have to make it work here. I'm just gonna have to push it down. Yep, get in there. Cause this is, so I like to give it a good shake like that hold the plant in place and just give it a good shake and that gets all the leka down in between the roots the little balls are starting to find their way through the holes at the bottom of this but that is okay am i gonna have enough here I'm just using my hand to move it all around in there. And now the plant is sturdy enough so I don't have to hold it in close. That looks so cool with the little balls and the big balls together. Actually, I like the look of it. Look at that. And I'm going to need some more. So I'm just going to put this on hold for a little second here. Look what I just found. <laughs> That's huge. That's massive. I'm actually going to put it in the plant. And I saved the big guys. I'm going to put those right at the top as a reminder to buy my regular Leka. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm not gonna buy the other Leka. I've got two big bags of th these big guys, so I have to use this up first. And I have to just figure out a way to make it work, which I think adding these little balls really did help because it's really filling in um, all the spots that the big balls just can't reach. And you know what? I kind of actually like the look of the big and the little balls together. So. Okay. Now, the only thing with not having a see through pot is you cannot see what's going on with those roots. So, 
this will just have to be, you know, a guessing game. Um, because it's a philodendron, I'm pretty confident in it doing well in LECA. But if it was a plant that I wasn't too sure about, then I would most likely use a clear container. So that's all I really have to say about, you know, containers is that using something clear, you can see the roots, but if you're not using something clear, then you can't see the root. Yeah, I like to have the holes in the sides or at the bottom because then when you're flushing it, the water can just run right out. Or if you have the holes in the sides, then when you're flushing it, you can just put it to the side like that so that all the LECA doesn't fall out of your container. But if you don't have holes in the bottom or in the sides, then you literally have to water the top of it, hold your plant in place, and then try and dump the top of it, which is harder to do with big plants like this one, for instance. Something like that would be harder to do, but if it's a smaller plant, sometimes it's easy because you can just hold it and just pour it out. Um, so yeah, now I'm just gonna put this in my container that I made up here, and I'm just gonna pour this as Super Thrive and water and I'm just gonna pour that in there. That should be good. Just a little bit of water at the bottom. You know what, I'll probably end up just putting it inside of my tent where the humidity is high and there's a grow light in there. So I have a feeling it will do really well in there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me pot this plant up today. And I'll keep you updated on how it's doing on Instagram. So if you follow me at Planty Shopping on Instagram, you'll be able to see updates on the plants that I always talk about on YouTube here. Um, thank you so much for joining. Thanks for watching my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other fun stuff. Bye.